Let me show you a secret world, a stuff that dreams are made of. They're little people with full-sized hearts. There's nothing to be afraid of. You may not see them, but they're right here, up each day at the crack of dawn, hurrying busily all around you. Child again. Hurry up, David, your breakfast's ready. I'll be right there, dear. I'm all finished. I almost really was finished. There's only one way to start a day, and that's with a good breakfast. You see, we only eat two meals a day. We're careful that we never eat an egg that has any chance at all of hatching. This one's all right. David does like to have his egg in the morning, but to tell you the truth, he enjoys eating just about anything. This morning, we're having green forest cake, nice crispies and bark flakes, shredded mushroom soup, and whole beet bread. Nature gives us a great variety of goodies. But I must admit, there is one thing I can't get David to eat. When he was little, his mother gave him dandelion leaves at every meal, and now he just won't touch them. He says, I don't look like a rabbit, and I'm not going to eat like a rabbit. But dandelion leaves are good for him, so I keep a few in this box and slip them into his food once in a while. Don't tell David this is our secret, okay? He'll never know he's eating What's them. for breakfast? <gasps> Shh. Did you make a nice hot cup of tea for me, huh? Yes, but I forgot to bring it over. But I'm sorry, I'm out of jasmine flowers to put in it. So? <laughs> I'll just go and pick some. I'll go later. Mm, I have to get some firewood anyway. I'll get mm. Jasmine at the same time. I'll never get out of the house anymore. I'll be glad of a little walk in the fresh air. You finish your breakfast and I'll be right back. See you in a few All minutes, All right, dear. but be careful. Don't worry, dear. I'm almost 400. I think I'm old enough to look after myself. Mm. Mm. These leaves are delicious. Long John Silver, I see you're still a good hunter even with only one eye. But wait, this isn't a mouse. I think it's a gnome. 
I haven't seen one since I was a kid, a little gnome woman. I hope you haven't hurt her. Mm, a few minutes, she said. Where could she be? Huh, women sometimes. Swift, have you seen Lisa? Huh? Huh? I'm worried. She said she'd be back in a few minutes, and she's been gone more than an hour. Will you help me look for her? I feel so sorry for that poor little lady. Is she coming around? Mm. I'm sorry, dear. Looks like she's done for. Oh, no. I knew I should have put a bell around that cat's neck. Mm. Well, at least we did our best to save her. I'll put her here on the windowsill. Maybe the warm sun will revive her. Oh, I hope so. Oh. <laughs> Lisa must have come this way, Swift. My sense of smell tells me we're getting warm. Very warm. Look, blood, and it's Lisa's. Come on, Swift, let's hurry. Lisa's been hurt. If we follow this trail of blood, we'll find her. Look at that, Swift. That's the basket Lisa was carrying. She was attacked by a cat. I can smell it. We've got to find her before it's too late. Come and tell me what happened. Oh, oh, I was worried sick about you. Thank goodness you found me before oh. that cat caught me again. I knew it was a cat. I just knew it. Are you all right now? Yes, and it gave me some nasty scratches. I thought it was a mouse. Thank goodness his owner rescued me. His wife fixed up my scratches. But I thought it was safer to pretend I was dead. And when they went to sleep, I escaped. And who is this man? Well, I think he's a woodcutter. He and his wife live in that little house there. Oh, of course. Yes, I know who he is now. I want to thank him for rescuing you from his cat. I'll offer him three wishes, see how he makes out. That's it, Swift. We'll pay a friendly visit to that woodcutter's cottage. Stop here, Swift. Uh. 
You wait here, dear. I'll only be a minute. Careful, David. Remember that cat. Nothing's ever easy. Hey. Hey, anybody home? Huh? Hey, who are you? I am David, the husband of the gnome your cat brought home. And I've come to thank you for rescuing her. Rescuing her? You mean she isn't dead? Oh, no. Playing dead is an old trick we gnomes use whenever we're caught in a tight situation. She's fine, thanks to your wife. I'm glad to hear it. But what do you want from me? Oh, nothing. I just came to thank you for rescuing my wife. Here, I'll lend you my magic flute, and along with it, I'll grant you three wishes. Just blow on the flute, and I'll appear and give you whatever you want. But I warn you, choose your wishes carefully. See Bye, you soon. Ah. You may be hurting him more than you're helping him. Hmm? Don't go yet, David. I want to ask for my first wish. Here we go. It's always the same. They can't wait. The first wish is always the same. I hope you've considered your first wish very carefully. No need to consider. We know what we want. We want to be rich. Being poor all the time is no fun at all. So now we want to be rich for a change. We want gold. If that's what you want. Uh, but maybe you should think about it for a while, because gold doesn't always bring happiness. Oh, oh, we'll be happy if we have the gold. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Tomorrow, look where you least expect it. Goodbye. 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 Now, that's Goodbye. the kind of fun I'd like Goodbye. to have. That gold bar over there, Carlo, will you lend it to me? Fred, I can't, David. I've been commissioned to make a solid gold pencil sharpener for the royal cart, you know. Yes, but this is for one of those three wishes routines. They never work. You'll have it back by tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, in that case, take it. Thank you, Carlo. Hmm. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> you want okay i can have anything i want uh-huh oh. <laughs> oh goodbye careful you don't lose it on the way don't worry goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> rich! <laughs> Money! Wealth! I've got gold! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did you call me, Woodcutter? What is it now? Oh, I'm sinking in this quicksand. Please, help me or I'm done for. Oh, very well, but this means you're using your second wish. Yes, anything you say. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Come over here, friends. We have a job to do. That's fine. Follow me. the tree and you can get out of there. Uh, oh, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks a lot. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Now, just remember, you've used up two of your wishes. That's all right. I've still got the gold. That's all I need. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I can buy. <laughs> Wouldn't Lorna look splendid in that? Oh. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking for the feed store, it's three doors down. Oh, no, sir. I'm in the right place, all right. I want to sell you this bar of gold. <gasps> Where would you get gold? Let me see it. <sighs> well, my good man, this really is gold, and the purest gold I've ever seen. How much will you pay for it? Mm. <laughs> well, in fact, I haven't got that much money here. My dogs are killing me. I told you, get new shoes. Mm, pardon me for a moment, please. He looks very suspicious to me. His clothes are all covered with mud, and he's got this big block of pure gold he's trying to sell me. I think he must have stolen it. Huh? <laughs> Let me see that. I haven't done anything wrong. Where did you steal this? I didn't steal it. I'm not a thief. I'm an honest woodcutter. Uh, come on, where would a guy like you get a bar of gold? Oh, it, it was a gift. I didn't steal it. It was given to me, honest. And who oh. gave it to you? You'd better tell us the truth. A gnome gave it to me because I saved his wife's life. Oh, oh really? A <laughs> gnome? <laughs> Did you really think we'd believe a ridiculous story like that? Come along. But you said to tell you the truth. Oh, he stole it, all right.
Here I am. I was expecting your call. Oh, David, you've got to get me out of here. I thought all your troubles were going to be over. Mm. It was the gold that got me in trouble. Yes, but don't you remember? I only granted you three wishes. Oh, yes. I don't care. I just want to go home. I can grant your wish, but there's a catch. Huh? And it's your last wish. I've already arranged everything. With the help of a city gnome who's a friend of mine, I hired a good lawyer for you. But like all good lawyers, he's very expensive. <sighs> I see, but how expensive can he be? Mm, I'd say that bar of gold you've got would just about do it. All right. Here it is. You're as good as free. Oh. oh. OK, you can go home now. You're a free man. Buster, get out of here! Beat it! I gotta tell you, the problem with wishes is that most people wish for things just for themselves. That never works out. When you make a wish, you should always wish for something that's good for everyone. And Schlitz bites! Next time, come with us way up north as David and Lisa have an encounter with the meanest Siberian gnome of all, Ivan. He's been in the cold so long it seems he doesn't have a warm thought left. Will David be able to melt Ivan's heart and teach him to mend his ways? You'll want to be here next time to meet Ivan the Terrible.